Ashutosh Bagri has invested in a spanking new wardrobe. It's the variety of colorful t-shirts that baffles his mind each time he plans a day out with friends. Confident and ready to take on the world, Ashutosh is being showered with compliments for his new physique. But until a year ago, he weighed a whopping 180 kilos. This condition of morbid obesity not only affected his quality of life, but also drained him emotionally. I could never, you know, have the guts to go meet a girl. I never had the guts to go even talk to a girl. I mean, just say a hi, hello, or, you know, even offer my friendship to her, leave alone the rest. Even if I think of going, approaching her or no, she with her friends, they'll immediately start, uh, you know, gossiping and pointing me, see, this is that guy, I mean, see that guy, how fat he is, you know. They, they start discussing, they start uh, gossiping, they start whispering and, you know, giggling around that and it makes it even more uh, worse and tough and uh, it pushes you back more mentally, emotionally, on all aspects. Ashutosh has been obese since childhood, a disorder he inherited from his parents. But it was an emotional appeal from his father that made Ashutosh realize the significance of losing weight to lead a healthier life ahead. The only thing he, uh, my father told me was, son, you know, you saw what pains your mom went through, how she suffered. I don't want you to suffer like that. You've got a, you've got a long life to live. I just want one gift from you. Now that you have developed the confidence, don't let it go down. Increase that confidence. Have trust on your uncle. Have trust on God. Have trust on the doctor who is going to operate you. Go with a positive mind frame. I am sure, son, you will come out and you will have a great life. The next morning, I told uncle that, uncle, and dad, I am ready for the surgery. Once Ashutosh made up his mind about the surgery, the remaining task at hand was easy. He underwent a mini gastric bypass through robotics on 4th February 2014. The procedure for mini gastric bypass is quite similar to that of the laparoscopic gastric bypass bariatric surgery, where through cuts a gastric pouch is created which is joined to the small intestine. However, gastric bypass is a largely restrictive surgery with less malabsorption and mini gastric bypass is largely malabsorptive and less restrictive. The aim, however, in both cases is to make the body absorb fewer calories and facilitate in losing weight. He's a bit tall guy, so he was around 5'11 in height and around 170 kgs. So people who are very obese and people who are very tall it's pretty difficult to do laparoscopic stuff. Basically, we have to extend our hand way beyond, because of huge patients, way beyond to operate. So it's pretty difficult to handle those people laparoscopically. Whereas when you talk about uh, robotics, however big the patient can be, however tall the patient can be, we do on a console and the robo arm operates on the patient. So this scenario makes life more easier for surgeon in a heavy patient, one. Second, another big advantage what a robo can give is better vision and better clarity. So we have something called intuitiveness. Because of a 3D vision, what you see is like what you see in real life. You tend to be uh, feeling like you are inside the patient's abdomen and operating. So because of a 3D vision, the instruments move much better, giving more mobility to the operation as well as more clarity. After a successful bariatric surgery, Ashutosh rejoined his family business of ball bearings with full enthusiasm. Much like his regained passion for work, he is equally disciplined about the customary follow-ups with his surgeon. He again is another big success story where he doesn't need nutrition supplement because he properly takes care of his nutrition through a nutritionist. A regular diet, no need for supplement at all. Once he comes and says that, you know, uh, he's so happy that he can climb up stairs, what he never used to. Then he came and comes and tells that uh, he can do jogging and uh, treadmilling 
which he never did in his life. Once he comes and says that he found uh, somebody in the apartment, a girl who comes and says hi to him, who had never said since his childhood. You know, so you know, and then he inspires us to be a better bioethics surgeon. To keep himself fit and healthy, Ashutosh hits the gym every evening and follows a strenuous workout regime with the help of his instructor. Weighing 88 kilos at present, he is happy beyond words. But there is one wish of his that will remain unfulfilled for life. One year down the line, I will weigh so much. I will look like this. I started visualizing myself, and I was, you know, eager and more excited to, you know, uh, see this day in practical life. But I miss my dad today a lot. How do you mean today? Somewhere down the line, had he been today, he would have been so happy. Today, Ashutosh is a different person altogether. The surgery has given him a second lease of life, and the compliments haven't stopped pouring in. The weight loss, which has been happening on a regular basis for the past one year. has definitely added motivation to me and uh, made me you know to realize that yes i can and i am and i will such impressive post surgery results have led to a huge interest in the field of bariatric surgery 12750 bariatric surgeries were performed in 2014 as against to 8500 in 2013 number of bariatric surgery cases increasing every year a relatively new technology called sills or single incision laparoscopic surgery is set to revolutionize the art of scarless surgeries first reported case in the world for a sills revision bariatric also happened in apollo we are proud to say that so we are other you know whether leading in india when it comes to a uh, wide range of uh, sills bariatric procedure we go through a small incision in the abdomen through the umbilicus or the navel so which is a normal scar so the scar is buried after surgery go in we have specialized equipments all the specialized equipments three or four go through the same hole a 2.5 cm hole through the navel we go in and a lot of uh, difference in the technology where we use Uh, the surgical techniques inside especially the most important part is the traction part where we have a designed a new technique of liver traction called as a hatel sling which goes under my name uh, which is proud uh, for uh, apollo to introduce that in the world and then we have done a lot of publication presentations based on that where we lift the liver through a suture from within the abdomen so that we don't need an additional traction which is unique to our center and uh, which is replicated in lot of centers around the around the world nowadays Bariatric surgery is one of the efficacious options now available to morbidly obese people making them move towards a healthier longer and a more fulfilling life Hello everybody I'm here to give you an update on Mr Ashok and Mr Ashutosh Mr Ashok went through a body contouring surgery 3 months ago. His quality of life has improved dramatically and here's the best part. No signs of sleep apnea whatsoever. Mr Asatosh who is morbidly obese underwent a robotic mini gastric bypass surgery. Since then he's got a very positive outlook in life. His self confidence has soared and he now actively participates in his family business and he has recently won the young entrepreneur of the year award. for 2015 now here's a message there is a takeaway here just like these individuals if you or somebody you love or care about is perhaps at risk because of being obese i would strongly ask implore that you come and get yourself assessed life is priceless 
Until next week, let's talk health. Have a good day.